you've talked recently about how you're not just staying in your lane. Palo Alto has been able to be pretty good at a number of things at once. With this volatility and the way the market is treating Palo Alto relatively well, are, are you going to go shopping? Is this an opportunity uh, to bulk up? Well, John, the, I went shopping four years ago. Uh, we bought north of 14 companies in the last four years. And when I started this journey, the thesis was that people want to buy the best to breed in cybersecurity in their category. Uh, four years hence, you've discovered people will buy lots of good products from you if you have them. So we've had the, the privilege of making 14 acquisitions in the market. We've consolidated it. In the last four years, we've built three independent businesses outside of our firewall business. On all three, we have a line of sight to get a billion dollars mm -hmm. in the next 12 to 24 months. So, so far, things are working out. Yeah, that's why I ask. Do you have indigestion or, or are you going back to the buffet? You know, um, I think the, the equity prices, both in the private markets and public markets, are like real estate. Your neighbor's house sold for a lot of money a few months ago. Mm -hmm. You still have hopes that your house will be worth that. I think it's going to take time for the indigestion of valuation to settle in the seller's market before the buyers can show up. So let me ask about um, secure access service edge, well SASE done. as yes. it's called, <laughs> yes. kind of new term of art in yes. security, but expected to drive a whole lot of activity yes. Yes. over the next few years. Yes. How do you position yourself in that market different from others who are gonna, right. of course, try to take advantage of the latest buzzword? Yeah, look, uh, first and foremost, John, uh, you know, this whole pandemic accelerated digital transformation. If I've seen many people come on their show and talk about it, and we're no stranger to it because that digital transformation has meant a lot of people want to get on the cloud faster than they have in the past. And that's not slowing down. You see every tech company after tech company tell you cloud is still driving a lot of the demand. Now, when cloud shows up, what it does is fundamentally requires you to change your network. You used to bring all the traffic back to your data center, back to your offices, you have to now you can take it to the cloud. Now the way to do it with the cloud with security applied at the edge is through this concept called SASE. There are two vendors in the market, really two. It's us and another one. And I'm perfectly comfortable if we can share the market. I'm not, I don't have to beat them at every race. You know, this is a very large market. I think it's going to be eight to $20 billion market in the next five to 10 years. I'd be very happy with half of it. Who's that other one? Just checking. <laughs> I'll let you guys You're not going to say it? <laughs> no, it's best not to talk about competition <laughs> all right, in all right. any which way, good or bad. I'll ask you something else. <laughs> sure. So what you sort of just presented is that secular growth opportunity. Yes. But in the near term, and I know you were asked about this on your last earnings call, yeah. we've been talking about it a ton, that lengthening deal cycle. And yes. you said that actually just has to do with the fact that you guys are moving into bigger deals, not yes. the softer macro backdrop. Is that still the case? Do you anticipate that to be the case through the end of the year? And beginning of next year? Look, as of now, uh, I've said this uh, a few times, we are not seeing the macro impact showing up in cybersecurity. I'm sure there's a bunch of belt tightening going on. We're seeing belt tightening. Customers want a better price. They want to see if you can postpone it by a quarter, but it's really not impact. I mean, three years ago when the pandemic hit, there are companies which had no revenue. So now we have a situation where retail is weak, but oil and commodities are strong. Then oil and commodities were weak. So you know, the industry keeps shifting as to who has more demand. So we're seeing a bit of belt tightening. I don't know where the market's going to go. If the market, if we end up you know, further down in six months from now, maybe we'll see the impact. But right now, we're not seeing the impact. In terms of deal cycles lengthening, look, we've gone from our largest deal being $20 million or $28 million four years ago to $75 million this quarter. So as you do bigger deals, right. it takes longer to cook them.